City 1051 FM. Who's my guest in the studio? The song is called Omaima. Oh it's on to the Hip Hop Pride. My name is Kesha Demaisha. You know how it is. It's real talk. It's it's quality conversation. It's unorthodox radio. And as I always say, uh, you know what I say? Nobody does it better. That's Skibby <laughs> at the bill. Skibby, you were just telling me about Omaima. Oh yeah. This song. T- t- this tell me about this song. In all honesty, yeah. it's because you're here. Yeah. Um, after Sensima, yeah. and we'll talk about this later. How the pressure of having a a mega a mega hit yeah. gets to you when you're making other songs. Yeah. How well did Omaima do after Sensima? Omaima is the is the perfect follow up for Sensima. Omaima, for me, Omaima is sweeter than Sensima. I know people will not agree because that one. Uh, no, one sorry, uh, I don't agree. It's song, but <laughs> if you if you listen to that song musically, from the guitar to the beat, the the arrangement of the um, of my vocals and everything is crazy. That's a proper jam, you understand. And I told you, like I said the other time, in Europe, yeah, that song is very very big in Europe. That's like one of my biggest songs in Europe. Like they love Omaima so much in Europe. Is um, especially in Paris. Can we not comfortably say that Skibi is an international act? By the grace of Baba Capital God, that's how I do. I know. And now we're going because I was going to talk about um, that's how I do. I wanted to do my own. Uh, the day I was supposed to go record it in. <laughs> Exo Studio. I've forgotten what happened. It paid me. I forgot what happened. I wanted to do my own version, my own rap version, and oh, and uh, now that's Omaima was out, mm-hmm. but you. Um, that's how Star do. Because I want to find out the process. Yeah. I think Omaima was packaged. It was packaged. It was on your. We follow each other on Instagram, so yeah. I follow you. Everything yeah. you do, and. Uh, it, w- it was packaged. Uh, we knew it was going to come out at a particular time. Yeah. Uh, we knew when the video was going to drop. Yeah. It dropped. I think I'm, as usual, any of your songs, I'm usually one of the first people that play it. Yeah. I talked about uh, That's How Star Do before it dropped, before I knew OAP in Nigeria, because I was following you. Yeah. And uh, not too long after Omaima dropped, you dropped That's How Star Do. Exactly one month after I dropped. One month after I dropped... Um, Omaima, mm-hmm. Omaima eats one million views. I don't tell them before. Say once Omaima gets to one million, I do the wait. I go drop another song. So immediately Omaima got to one million views. I dropped. That's how I started. So immediately. Th- so that's what was happening in the background. You know, a lot of listeners do not know what it is, and even yeah. us as critics, uh, lots of times we try, we just do uh, over intelligent and all, and because um, Sensima was out for a long time. Yes. For a long time, for at months and months. Six months, yeah. At least six before months. Before I dropped. Do you yeah. understand? Before you dropped Omaima. Yeah. So we, uh, I think it was a, an automatic thing. We just felt that uh, Omaima, let's see how we last. And people I automa- didn't even wait. Exactly. <laughs> and people, so I think what happened was that Sensima had taken you to a level. Yeah. And um, Omaima just automatically, people just take right you to th- that level. Yeah. And I, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. That's how Stardew. You. Um, how did you decide on the artist that you featured on the song? Yeah, you know, that's how Stardew is just a slang. Is what I used to say on Instagram. And that one, you know. too, I wanted to do again. <laughs> so, I have problems in my life. So I always play. I always play with that vibe. That's how Stardew. So I liked it. And me and Neptune, we saw backstage somewhere at the show. Then he said, we could take this thing and do song now. I said, okay. I'll put it in mind. So when I got to the studio, I link up with Jason, the producer. So I told him, he said, what kind of style am I looking at for this song? I said, I need old school hip hop, like something like them, Timbaland kind of vibe. That was when he started. That. Dun, 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 dun. So the first thing that came out of my mouth was I was, I was, you know, I always look fresh. I don't know. So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a... F- <laughs> I'm not a female, so, uh, so, so I said I, I don't see guys. That I looked way. at myself and I said, "I saw my neck, I saw my wrist." You know, that's, that's how star do. If you ain't talking money, please don't come. If we know the show. song, that's yeah. how star do. Then I put my prize on it, Temily, never to be caught on fresh. We know the song, Skibby. Move on. So uh-huh. I'm, I'm telling you the process. Uh, yeah, okay. So, no, no, not that type of process. So when, when I made the song, uh, I already did all the verses. Yeah. 
the song is completed. You know? Was DJ Neptune so, on that song? Yeah, he was the one that said greatness at the beginning. Oh, yeah. that's his feature. And in that song, it was there. It was there all through. Yeah. After I recorded the song, then he, he called Files because we were thinking like, okay, who can we put on the song? I said the song is simple. You know, it's playful. I need somebody that's on serious people like Files and Tenny and myself. You know, we know we just did Jones. So then he called Files, sent the song to Files. Files first talks when he called Files. Files say. Uh, in the travel next two weeks we will do the song then he sent the song to uh, files files just send the song back for night you don't voice <laughs> you see oh god this one has jam <laughs> now bad jam be this then i was on the plane with tenny we we're listening to songs immediately tenny heard that's how start do she said oh ben i must do the song i go disturb you i go worry you skippy you know me so when we go back to lagos Tenny don't go link up with the producer by herself. <laughs> he not even call me. He just called me, say, Skibi, hear this verse. Ah, I hear verse. She said, if you don't like it, tell me. I'm in the studio now so I can change it. I said, no, leave it. I like it. Yeah, that's I, it. And I know you're close to Niniola. You're yeah. close to Niniola. You're close to Tenny. Yeah. They're both... Uh, uh, blood sisters. Yeah, family. A lot of people do not know that. The same father, <laughs> same mother. A lot of people For don't real. know that. Um, what's the difference between... I'm close to... I'm very same clo- father. I'm very cl- not same mother. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, same father. That's not what Niniola told me. Oh, I, 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 anyway, I'll... When she, come, she should be on the show tomorrow, so... Oh, I'll, nice. Because uh, now I feel I'm confused. <laughs> I remember right? <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, because I'm close to Niniola. Yeah. Then, so, uh, myself and Tenny have never actually met. Okay. What's the difference between both their personalities? Ah, you can tell that they are sisters. They are crazy, two of them. Uh, Tenny <laughs> is a bit more of the clown. <laughs> no, because I think Niniola don't post that much like Tenny. Tenny is mm-hmm. a social media guy. <laughs> you understand? So, that's just it. If, when you're chilling with the both of them, they are crazy people. They are fun to be with. You understand? I love them both equally. You get me? So... So, okay, it's so what it is. We still have a lot to talk about, but before we get into that, I think should we take? Uh, yeah, you line up. That's how Stadu. This boy does stuff I don't tell him to do. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. Like I, I do. I, I don't like interns that want that take matters into their own hands. Okay, this is the music for Skibby. Remember to keep the questions coming in. When we get back, we'll take them. I remember to do that on Twitter. It's at City105, and that's at City105. And remember, what's up the number, baby? That's 09299164403. That's 09299164403. You're still on to City1051 FM. Your number one city within the city of last Kitty, your number one lifestyle station, the Hippo Pride. My name is Keshi Tomashi, but his name is Kibi. He's my special guest tonight. This song is called That's How Star Do. City 1051 FM. City 1051 FM. The song is called That's How Star Do. It's uh, Skibby. It features uh, Tenny. It features uh, Files the Back Guy, one of my favorite uh, rappers in the country. And uh, it's a quality song. It's uh, the song is star quality. And now I'm going to ask you um, some questions, uh, Skibby. That's that's what that's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Skibby has always had star quality. Skibby has always been star. A lot of things have changed. How have you changed from the Skibby that you were when you were seeking this level? We know that Skibby still wants to go higher. Everybody wants to go higher. Yeah. Um, how have you changed? What has changed about you? What has changed about your lifestyle? What has changed about your mentality? What have you learned? You've been, you, you were in 22 European countries. Mm-hmm. Uh, what have you learned? What have, uh, and you know the crazy thing about you is there are too many people that don't know that there's more to you than the fun guy the you know what has changed about skibi what has not changed about skibi okay to me i would say i remain the same somehow like character wise this is me lifestyle you same. have more hair <laughs> the same no this i, I used to have this hair you know, i used to keep this <laughs> uh, i think what do they call it uh you blew it you blew your hair i, mean. I didn't blew anything 
Uh, no, but it wasn't this. It's like that. Though. You, you didn't notice. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, them, I'm not a female. Well. I'm, I'm <laughs> not interested in noticing. You know, so the I, the only change that I noticed is I got very busy. And that's a good change. And, yeah, and I've learned a lot in the process. You know, growing up, I'm becoming a boss, and. I've learned a lot about the business, know how to run it. And I don't want to overdo or over kaku, overdo too much. Can't they do pass within E B actually, you get me? So I'm just I'm now even very calm now. I see life differently. I don't Oh I don't I don't rush things. I don't force, okay, I don't okay, force anything. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. like that's a So you know? So but right now I think, and I'm richer. Oh, we know you have money. Than I used to be. I know, we know, we know. Uh, you didn't really have money before. <laughs> Package in Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, from time, nothing really changed because I've been living the life. I'm enjoying myself. That's a normal ski uh, You're not good. It's not me that you will tell that you enjoy yourself. We know you enjoy yourself. Normal oracle lifestyle. I don't have problem. I don't, I don't welcome problems. You know, obstacles go a day, you know. On the way, you jam many things, but my the way I've been dealing with it, I know they get problem. Because when problem comes, I don't entertain it. I just say, okay, this is not a problem. Can I solve it? Yes or no? If I can't, I leave it. If I can solve it, I solve it. If I, if I can't solve it. So my manager used to tell me, OJ used to say, like, guy, how you always relax? Even when I come and tell you something where they shake my mind, you could just relax, say, eh, no, Alana. We'll does, does, we'll does, does OJ know that that's what makes you special? Does, <laughs> does he know? Do you, do you tell him? You know why? Because you've been through a lot. Yes, sir. You've been through a lot. A lot. And um, it, it's how I got to meet you. It's how I we got close and all. And it's how I saw sides of you that people don't know people have to get really close to you you yeah. open up to me a lot yeah you know when we met and i saw i saw a good soul in there skippy at this level the artists that are not near your level that refer me to their managers do you understand i didn't yeah. talk to your manager for this interview no. but i think he understands our relationship yes nino is like that too johnson there are lots of artists see me is like that too that it's always a direct thing there were people that doubted you. There were people that there were people that laughed at you. There were people that laughed at you, especially in doing because it was. I think it was on this show that you first of all explained. It was all over social media. Yeah. But I think it was the first time on radio because a lot of people had written you off. Yeah. But I never did. Thank God. So it's not like I'm farmsing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because I don't know <laughs> how to farms. It was on this show that you first of all explained to people what happened concerning the whole. Uh, people thinking that you faked your death, your death thin yeah. and all. Yeah. How, how do you? I, I would love a situation. What I, what I did is I I embraced it. You know when people when people tell you ah oh well, you fake your death and I try to explain for a while saying no. Now I can say yes if to say I fake my death now. You understand? And <laughs> I've told them a lot of. I I told them many times that I don't need it. And I don't prove I'm say I don't need to fake my death. You understand? I don't need it. My people way past me, no drum. Now rubbish. For Yoruba land, we don't do it. You understand? So I try to explain to a lot of people, but you know, you can't keep explaining forever. So when I when I, I see say they don't choose what they won't choose. Nigerians that's no, so they, they, do. I, I they think don't choose <laughs> like, no, you fake your death, <laughs> guy. Not the way you won't tell us. Like I embraced it. Like Okay, then I started calling myself a young Jesu, and I don't care anymore. I don't care what you say about me. That doesn't define me. Then I moved on, and I focus on my career, my music. They say I no go blue. I'm I'm happy everybody's dancing to my song now. So. I, I would like a situation where you know me. I like names, but you might not want to give names. Yeah. Um. Can, but can it be a situation where you give me like one or two names that I already know a me day? Yeah. I think. I think me and you eventually we might not be able to have interviews anymore because we're a bit close, right? Yeah. So it gets boring. So there's some things I don't want to ask at all. 
maybe my podcast and all. Do you understand? Um, like two artists that supported you through all that nonsense that spurred you know that spurred you on and two artists that you feel doubted you uh, two artists that you f- feel made fun of you i just me i just feel everybody <laughs> everybody made fun of me you know if anything happened now that's it's a normal thing for everybody skibby, to do. if everything skibby, happened you're now, doing wisdom i'm trying to explain uh, I, can't, can't, yeah, I, know, I, 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 see, I know even the guys some people they fake to my front for my eye which i did hear another thing for back almost everybody doubts now not a normal thing because when something happened when anybody fall for this industry we did like to laugh it's not just the industry Young, it's human nature yeah we everybody just won't laugh and talk about them and won't talk the person down they don't care about what in the person they feel or what you're going through they just want to condemn you you understand they want that thing to break you so now you always get thick skin because challenges could come and, and, could and, I, and i know you have that thick skin that's that's what i i just want like one or two names like, like i know people, olamide. People, olamide olamide was dead yeah. olamide never laughed you understand he called me like yo skibi mo believe it pa my worry you understand i deal with you no shaking you get one of the people that that gave me that confidence like i just see you guy i don't hear some of your songs you i i have a feeling he's listening because olamide listens to the show a lot yeah you so know? and uh olamide is he's an amazing he was boy. there you understand and we, we did that song together with love uh, um uh and i was going to talk about files yeah. Then I remembered that Faust is on that's our that's studio, our style, yeah. and Faust had a line on one of his songs recently. Yeah, about recently. like even if you fake. Oh, that time. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> uh, it's still recent. Yeah. Uh, even if you fake, you, if you still no blow. You feel you, fake your own you feel he you was talking blue. about you. It was. Not, I used to sing that song in the club. I danced to it. He was not talking about me because I didn't fake my death. So, I told I told everybody around me like. Not be me they talk to because na person we faking debt they talk to na him feel no blue, no be me. So if to say it happen, I suppose no blue self. All the things where they wish me if suppose happen. So are you, you going get what I'm saying? So yeah. me, I just focus and I know the only way I hear my cry say ah, this boy and I just they love this boy like this. Not be so he be now, you know. But God know they sleep last last. Yeah, you know my real name. My real name is Olon Jeda. You understand? So long, enjoy that look. That's how standing. Skippy, how many clothes do you have? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Too many, man. <laughs> I'm just asking. I can't even count my shoes. I, I've, exactly. I was Because I've never seen you repeat shoes. I've never seen you. Somebody was in my house today. I was saying, like, I had too many shoes. I had to. And I'm like, and I'm thinking like the idiot <laughs> that is going to be on my show tonight. <laughs> That's a is it? Cause people always say that skip is colorful. I'm like, okay, I'm going colorful tonight. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I like this right here. You're like mad. This. Yeah, I told you. I warned you yesterday. Quite fresh, quite fresh. Yeah, quite no, fresh. very fresh. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people think that we look alike. For real? Yeah, a lot of people say that. I'm like, nah. Um, you go there one way, you go in. No, it's it's not that. Um, <laughs> more confused, but more. And you get that body. See these bros don't hold you. You go see the form. We hmm. did together. Sky, I collect your babe. Hmm. I say, oh, I'll never agree for you. She will mount so far, babe. Uh, oh, and you feel bad. No. <laughs> Hope that when you get to my age, you still got this. Yeah, I have the body. Uh? <laughs> like my father. My father is still. Okay. Ex- exactly. Because it's all about genes. Because uh, I think me is my my mother. When people ask me, I, I say uh, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke. I don't do this because I don't smoke. I don't. I drink. Yeah. Uh, I take a lot of foods. I drink a lot of water. I try not to stress myself and also, but it's my mother's. My mother is like almost sixty. My mother looks thirty something. Hmm. You know, so is it is it jeans? It's it's a big engine. Let's go. You see what I did there. <laughs> so we now come to the song "Big Engine." Mm-hmm. How how much pressure is it to maintain back to back hit songs? Um, you talked about Omaima, yeah, right? Like it's big in Europe, yeah. But you're somebody that I know that you love still being in touch with, you know, like the home front, yeah, been here, yeah. 
how how do you go into the studio and I, and you're somebody that there are million there are million producers that want to work with you yeah. there are million artists that want to work with you yeah the pressure of i want to meet up with that's our start i want to meet up with this song or that song how do you handle it okay what i do is i don't try to meet up with any song i'm just because when i when sensima blew up i was not trying to blow i'm just making good music for people to listen and enjoy so i'm maintaining that i don't want to i, I don't want to be under pressure or trying to make it song i just want song where people go like that's it so if you come big pass waiting at the expect cool you get me so this particular song big engine is produced by fancy beats fancy is here as fancy and it sent me yeah it sent me a couple of beats while i was away i was somewhere i think for a show but i always travel with my laptop and i always record myself with my mic so i recorded that song and when he came to my house i played the song for him i, I always record alone most times that's how i like it i like it when producers send me beats so if you check from all my jobs it's different producers from sensima or marima that's how star do and this one produced by fancy too so it's always brand new and new producers that are very talented but uh, do, do you um when you say uh, new producers especially because you're skibby you're big and uh, lots of producers would want a situation where the artists are the produce or uh, gets them the attention yeah um do you pay this producers of course yes yeah I pay I, uh, everybody i pay everybody's business no I, 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 I heard about artists i'm not talking about you I, I know artists that just want to use um the upcoming producers because the producers need the big names more you know um uh, we're, we're glad you're not I, I i don't i don't do that i don't like that so once i'm using your beat if i'm releasing any of my songs i'll call the producer and pay i'll ask how much do you charge then i'll pay you whatever you charge that is how i work with them so we're always cool like that so that's it and, uh, and you guys are together because i was actually going to crack a joke about how your entourage is bigger now <laughs> because i don't think skibby has ever been here with more than uh, more than i think the last time he was here was just you yeah right yeah. so i was going to say like bigger entourage and and, and it's, it's not by entourage now i, I know <laughs> entourage. now that you've ex ex i like moving quietly so. yeah it's, it's 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 the best way and it's mm -hmm. it's why i love you so much uh no homo yes boss. uh I like females. <laughs> Always. Me too. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just had to get <laughs> I just had to get that out of the way. Um there's a there's a little drama going on about ghostwriting on the country. Yeah. About how and for me I find it irritating mm -hmm. because it's a universal culture. Mm -hmm. Um people can write songs for you and you fashion out your contracts. Uh have has anybody ever written number one what's has anybody ever written a song for you no and number two what's your like, take like what, right what's now, your take on ghostwriting right now um kiss daniel wrote a song for me but the song is not out yet oh you get me is, is he on the song also no he just wrote the song for me okay and um the song is not out yet and that's like the first person that will ever write a song for me kiss daniel and it's not even out yet and you know most times when we're in the studio some people can be around too and just add one or two things you know we do that a lot all of us we always no I'm, I've, so, I'm, I'm, i have a music background so i know what you're talking so about. so like we feel the studio when we vibe even with my friends ricardo banks you know we share sections most times and we like add some few things to each other you get me so that one day but nobody don't ever write something for me you get what i'm saying so well, but i wish i wish i need if you are a writer you bad send your send the song to skibby mayana five star <laughs> at gmail.com skibby mayana five star at gmail.com or just go to my bio you see that email there just send the song there if you get bad so i go buy them i go pay do you, you think it, so do you, i don't mind i don't mind you do you know, think it's idiocy uh that you know the people that especially the general nigerian um 
listenership base it's it's idiocy for people to actually attack artists for you know for having other people write their songs it's, it's a, for because for me it's like you're saying that somebody else shouldn't produce my song you understand so it's it's nothing you understand you can actually somebody can write you a song it's cool like right now i'm i'm very busy and i can tell you know the the more you grow your creativity just reduce somehow yeah. because you you can't really you don't need palash now you know you, what does palash mean i'm sorry you don't enjoy life okay like, you're saying yeah like okay i didn't really right understand now it. that you are palashing that you are enjoying life and you're very busy going traveling around you know catching flights and going for shows you you don't really have that time to think like that but you see some guys day for streets they're still they're hungry like you used to you understand what i'm saying me right now i go back to my old songs that are very very bad like some of my songs that i've recorded like two years ago <laughs> if you hear them now that's why i said my album will be very bad my album go crazy like one of the uh, best uh, bad or good one of, like oh, good okay good like, yeah. <laughs> because you just said it's, some it's gonna okay. be one of the best yeah out of africa man you're going to I be you're going to remake a lot of songs y- i already did like some songs got a couple of artists on some songs mm-hmm. that are very nice you get me so now you record because i i follow you record a lot you're hard working i notice that almost everywhere you go you're that's my pro- my problem is selecting to, to selecting exactly. songs it's not making the songs uh, and sing uh, every day uh, and i was going to i was going to talk about how you select yeah you know like how do you because you have a team yeah how do you eventually because that's what i well, that's where i was going how do you eventually decide on this is a song that yeah what how I, did you decide on big engine yeah. uh, and because the bigger you get yeah. uh, the 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 wider uh, the 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 bigger the people out there that want to work with you so you have more resources to work with yeah. it, it's a good thing but also a bad thing because of how your ability or inability to source with the uh, material you have yeah how do you handle it like when when we create songs we listen to the song i send them to everybody on my team they listen and we start choosing you know the final scene are still me whatever i say but me, I, I allow them choose, and I I will check it myself. I can disagree. They say no, no, be this song. But they know that I will go and sleep and listen again to the song and see whatever points they are trying to point out. You get me? So I will just listen again and follow my mind at the end of the day. But I allow them choose and bring ideas. Most times now they only work. I agree. You get. I'm excited about what. I didn't know anything about the song, but there was just a little part. I saw. That's how start do. You had been playing with that thing for a long time. Yeah, since February. Yeah. For a long time, for like you know. So it's some. So I'm like, this is something that uh, he had made a line, and you now mess with it, and you do. You now put. You know, put uh, fast it's, it's always it's always hard to, to have a slang and actually make it a hit. It's always difficult. Uh, but you did, you did, and because it, you know why? That's how I I was about to say that <laughs> you're boring. <laughs> you're boring. You're boring. Go away. New engine. Let's check it out, right? Yeah, big engine. Uh, so I'm going to play you the video for the first time. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so the first time you hear only on the hip hop uh, uh, I was about to yap some other stations, but I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, they will get jealous that. <laughs> Let's the go. song is called Big Engine. Let's check it out. It's new music from uh, Skibby, who's in the studio. Still City 1051 FM, your number one live star station. City 1051 FM. And the song is called Big Engine. It's uh, Skibby. Who happens to be my guest in the studio? Yes, sir. Uh, tonight, uh, Skibby, what uh, went into uh, making the song? Why is this a song that yourself and your team decided uh, to throw at your fans? The vibe is right. You understand? It's danceable, and this is uh, Skibby. There's, so, there's something about you. The, your vibe is usually right. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't know how we met, right? I didn't like him. I, I didn't like him. Like, <laughs> 
I was totally disgusted. Uh, and I found out that he's just in fun. He was just, he was just having fun. <laughs> I swear, I remember that day. Yeah, yeah. it was downstairs. Oh, yeah, it was downstairs. I think it was two thousand, like three years ago. Yeah, three like three years ago. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said that, and, and, it, and it didn't take too long because he apologized and <laughs> like I love this boy and we're here. Um, what's the next step? Video for this song? Yes, um, the video is ready, so I'm dropping this video on Friday. So I'm going to post the teaser tomorrow. You know, give S- them. Excuse me, when are uh, when are we getting an album from you? Yeah, we're supposed to get it this year. But we move it to next year. Well, you remember? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Whatever. I have remember? Some I'm still working on. <laughs> remember we had an interview here. Yeah. Years ago, it was yourself, Seriki, and someone else. You remember? Uh, yeah. Where we talked about dropping albums and all, and how uh, I think we mentioned Whiskey. And I, I, I think I'm the one that did this. Remember, I, I talked about how Whiskey hadn't dropped an album in like two years. You remember that particular yeah, yeah, interview? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. like three years yeah. ago. Yeah. And I I remember your response. <laughs> Ski was a hmm. And that moment I knew that I was in trouble. I, I knew that like, <laughs> uh, Skibby, um the whole idea uh, the, the industry now, the the work now, the job now is about it's about streams, it's about statistics, it's about numbers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you're making money off those numbers. Yeah. Do you feel obligated to drop a number? Let let uh, to drop an album. Let's Let's be honest. Do you feel that you owe anybody an album when your music is doing well, when you're making this uh, numbers that you already have over a million followers on Instagram, which is annoying. Two million. Uh, yeah, two, it's two <laughs> million now. You know? Um, do you feel obligated to anybody? For what reason? You're making a lot of money. For what reason would you want to drop an album for anybody? Well, I just want people to enjoy my music in bulk. You understand i just want to but wh- wh- when you look at the like whole idea of, of your music in, in bulk your yeah. body of work yeah. uh, you you drop song after song after song yeah. when you put them together that's a body of work isn't it yeah sure is is that what sh- skivy is doing <laughs> no 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 i'm coming with like you know i record every day i work all the time and i know if you chop those songs i just think they have to just go out let people enjoy it and feel it I'm not dropping an album because uh, it won't sell record. I just want him to enjoy it because I'm not doing anything with those songs and they're beautiful music. Like, I have different vibe on the album. You get me? So let me just put them together and drop it for the people to enjoy. So that's that's basically what I'm about to do. What What is Skibby doing different? Uh, Skibby is... Skibby is... He has those up-tempo songs. The Skibby is... What, what, what is... Her, I'm, I'm <laughs> The different thing about Skibby is just that I'm having fun. I'm just being Skibby. So that's why I'm different from everybody. I'm what did the what, what did the idea of you sitting down on the toilet sit? I, I hate that trend. Imagine. I hate you. Well, let, let I hate say, you. I hate that say, trend. Let me talk I, about let me talk about I, that. I, how did well, how, how did that It just shows that on. it just shows that my fans are ready to do anything I do. That's just it. Like anything where I do the trend. You get what I'm saying? Because I was just in the toilet. It's not a challenge. I didn't turn on to challenge. I was in the toilet. Then, you know, I always press my phone in the toilet. So I was actually pressing my phone and I went to Snapchat. Then I say, ah, ooh, I'm fresh. Oh, and I made a video like, mm, I, fresh. I, I saw even the original while, video. Even while taking a shit, I'm still fresh. Ew, that language's <laughs> not loud on radio. No, Behave yourself. It's, actually i uh, take you know yeah uh-huh. so you understand so <laughs> so i said i just posted it and i said never to be caught on fresh i saw then, the original post yeah that video yeah then the next thing i i just saw people sending they, they were posting and writing never to be caught on fresh too in their toilets and i post me i just help them post them <laughs> i'll post it for you i know you so, never started uh, because as I said, I saw the original post. I think I saw it as soon as you posted it. Yeah. Coincidentally. Like, you know, so I, so I wasn't expecting anything. A girl posted, uh, Etinosa posted up. Uh, uh, Etinosa is, said, is a mad person. <laughs> I, I'm she not said, surprised. Never to, be caught, uh, never to be caught on fresh. And everywhere bust. Everybody started doing it. So I've, somebody sent me a picture of whiskey in the toilet too. David on the toilet. 
the game in the toilet. So me, I just help them post them. Turn them to trend. So I realized I can actually trend anything. Skip is uh, Skip is an list artist now. That's how start do. How 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 good does it feel? I'm I'm. You know me. I'm, you know I have your back all the time. Yes, sir. And I'm totally excited about it. You know, how does it feel? Feels good to be here today, and this is not even where I'm going to. So we just the start. This is just the beginning. 2020 is about to be crazy. You understand? So this is just the beginning. I feel good right now, and I I think people actually see what I what I've been saying since. What I know about myself that I think I'm the only one that I know. Because I always talk I'm with my outside bad, but some people don't believe why well, keep working and now I change their you understand their view on Skibi Mayana. How old is and I believe th- after I drop album. Are you sure you want to drop that album? Because you don't sound like you're interested in dropping an album, Skibi. It's me you are talking to. <laughs> I'll drop it. <laughs> I'll drop it. It's coming. Really? Yes. The album is coming. Yes. It's coming, yeah. No date yet, but it will come. <laughs> and when it comes, you will know. That's giving you changed. You will know it. what it, I know. It's when you are trying to cover stuff. That's why you change to this tone. It's not me that you will be doing. <laughs> that you be doing. Skibby. Um, how old is Skibby? Hmm? Is there's somewhere? Don't worry. You won't give me your age. You said, entertainment. How old is Kibi? How old is Kibi? Uh, entertainment I'm, people, you people don't keep your I'm age. I'm very, very young now. Please. What's my age on Google? 20, yeah. I'm 26 now. Uh, is that what he said? You're all mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're all very mad. And it's okay. And it's okay. Ah, uh, very young, young boy for life. And it's, I, just, I don't care. See, I don't care about your age Forever anymore. You, Sadly, want to you want to settle down with your music, have you? No, with. Because I, I know you. I'm going to pick Have you up. ever been in a serious relationship, Skibby? Uh, yes, now. Always. No, don't do that. Don't I'm with your music. I'm a relationship guy. Uh, you're, no, you're no re- not you relate musical. with OAPs. Ah, you relate with your music. Skibby, stop it. It's now not with funny. my female, this thing must be she. Okay, what type of relationship? Sexual relationship? Yes, now. Okay, good. Yes, now. I'm, I, I know. I love to love. I know. I'm, and I love everybody equally. So, Skibby... Ladies. Skibby sleeps with all his female fans. Uh, uh, that's go, that's what you said. I go die now. I, I, I can't. Now. Okay, not everybody. They are too much. You're still very selective. Yes, no, Skibby, always. why are you not interested in a serious relationship? I am interested. You're not? I never said no. Okay, good. So now tell me why you can tell me that you never said no. And even though you never said yes. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, yeah, let's go there. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. <laughs> with, with who? With my ladies. <laughs> yes, and I love them so much. You know I'm a Muslim. And as a Muslim, you are you you have right to marry more than one wife. So uh, a lot of people did it. Yes. In in I'm how many interviews have you done this? Are you actually? I always say the truth. Are you actually Muslim? I know you try. I know you try your best to yes. say the truth. Skip yes, it. boss. It's me and you. Yes, boss. Uh, we know each other. Well. <laughs> okay, just can't be saying something. So, I'm always in a relationship. But do you see yourself? And I'm being serious okay, here. Like, now, like be, behave yourself. Settling behave. down. Do you see? It might not be now. Yeah. But of you, even be, you this, this was laughing. I want to be like my father. You understand? Settle down, have a wife, and have kids too. Like you understand? Like you. You want to have a kid like me? Settle down like you. I am not settled. I don't even have a girlfriend. Hey, so you have been deceiving us. <laughs> I never told you I was. Show me, we meet him a post. So a single, single, over single like like my new single. That's dead, <laughs> dead. You know that nonsense rap thing you did the last time you were here. Match- Baddest uh, uh, rapper alive. They know me. Machala. Machala one. So all this, right? Mm. All this all this nonsense you're saying <laughs> is because you don't want to talk about the fact that Skibi, you're not ready for a serious relationship. Because I am ready. Because we, your fans, were concerned about you. I am ready. Okay. But you're just ready for a serious relationship with 
with plenty my, females. With my girls, yes. I'm being honest. Okay, good. Um, this guy in the Bible did it. Okay, good. Yes. Your King Solomon. Your mad. Fela Anikulapo did it. There we, okay, thanks thanks for all that, yeah. Skibi. Let's take I'm the song again. I will round up this interview. Begin. Oh, by the way. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm tired of you. Just go. City 1051 FM.